Welcome everyone to Mr. 3D. So in this video, we are gonna take a look at Simply Wrap Pro add-on for Blender made available by the folks at the I Just Love Tizen. And he is also the creator of these awesome add-ons such as Simply Cloth Pro, Simply Micro Mesh, Simply Concept. All the links are in the description if you wanna check these out. With Simply Wrap Pro, you will be able to create wrapped meshes around your objects or characters within seconds. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can save a lot of your time with this add-on. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. With Blender simply open here, what you need to do is you need to go over to edit preferences and install the add-on that you have downloaded from Blender Market. Once you install it, just simply type the name of the add-on and check this box to enable it. Save preferences, close the preferences, as you can see right here, I have a human character for demonstration purposes. So press N on your keyboard and then go to simply add on panel and you have few options right here. So select the object that you want to wrap on and simply click on object for wrapping. Now here you have bunch of settings to play with to get familiar with them. For now we are going to take a look at object collision. So in object collision you have to decrease the decimate to about 0.05 what this will do is it will decrease the mesh resolution for optimal drawing performance so it won't lag while we are drawing this is just for viewport performance and then we have thick inner thick outer and this is for later now once you're happy with your settings click on start wrapping right here it shows different shortcut keys for different types of tasks if we left click and drag you can see that we are creating a path and its color is blue that means we are drawing in front of our character now if we let go mouse click it will turn red that means if we click and drag again it will draw at the back side of our character just like that and you can do this over and over again now once you're happy with your drawing you can also increase the resolution of your drawing by simply holding ctrl plus left mouse scroll wheel to increase the resolution and there we have it you can also switch the orientation by s you can lock the orientation by l and reset the path that means it will delete all the drawing and you can start over again you can generate curve now we are gonna click enter to generate wrap and right here you see the size so if we drag it you can see the size of our wrap so if i increase this just like so maybe around here perfect if we left click it will go to offset distance and you have to drag it back maybe like 0.02 and then we have twist for most of the time you don't need twist but if you want to you can also add so i'm going with zero twist now left click to confirm this action now once you left click it will automatically wrap around our character just like that this is a little bit weird this is just for demonstration purposes i didn't draw it well now if you press n on your keyboard you will see that we have a lot of options so if you don't like the result you can also change the width if you want to and then we have repeat it increases the resolution of the wrap then we have thickness of the wrap which i would like to go with 0.005 and then we have self friction self distance you can play around with these half one and then we have collision distance i'm gonna decrease this just a little bit more. you can see it's looking a lot better so play around with the settings once you're happy with your settings click on apply wrap and then as you can see right here we have intersections going on so to fix these all you need to do is go right here and changing it to edit mode and you have option like show intersections this will show you all the intersecting faces so you can maybe select these and you cannot you know move it then you have to enable proportional editing and with proportional editing enabled you cannot really do well right now so one thing you have to do is you have to enable connected only so this will only affect the selected one just like that for me i'm gonna fast forward this Alright, once you fix all the intersections, you will have good looking wrap just like this. Also have the cleanup endings. Click and drag to short your endings. 
just like this and then tab into edit mode select these two faces of both ends just like that and click on bridge edge loops ending and then it looks weird but you have this little panel at the bottom left corner in the blender and you can change the smoothness to just around here and play around with it until you have the best settings you want now tab out of edit mode once you're done and you can delete the decimate modifier now and you have beautiful wrapped mesh around your character and now if you want to apply some textures to it you will also get the asset pack if you have bought the full version of the add-on so go over to edit preferences under file paths and you must have to be in blender 3.0 because asset browser comes in blender 3.0 so go over to file paths and then enter the path wherever you have saved your simply wrap assets then close the preferences drag the window out and then go to asset browser right here you have to set your path to simply wrap pro and then we have all these different assets make sure to save your project file in case blender crashes and then you have materials right here let's go to rendered mode add some lightings perfect now click and drag any material you want i just want to link the materials and then click and drag to your wrap and you will have that material applied to your wrap so if you don't like this you can also choose this one yeah pretty shiny we have red wrap plastic then we have wrap wool nice play around with these have fun and this add-on also comes with custom chain objects that you can wrap to your curve so let me show you how to wrap simply hide the wrapped from the outliner and then unhide the simply curve from the outliner and you can see the curve right here now click and drag any object you want with this change from link to append and click drag it down here then select the chain object and then go over to object properties change all the location to zero and the other way to do that is by pressing alt g it will reset all the location transformation of the object that we have selected select your chain object that you have and click on add selected object to wrap we've just created a wrapped chain around our character now if it's too big for you you can simply select the chain press s and scale it down until it looks good and now you see that the curve is empty now so all you have to do is press ctrl a and apply the scale and it will reset the scale to 111 and you will have a full wrapped chain again so this is how it, this add-on works let me know what you guys think about simply wrap pro in the comment section below and that's it for this video also you can check some of my previous videos and of course if you like this video or you found it useful you can give it a thumbs up and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any future uploads thanks for watching catch you guys in the next one peace